Hello everyone, this is Andrea Honor with the National Weather Service Office in Grand Forks, North Dakota, here to bring you the weather and climate briefing for the month of June 2018 with an additional look into the month of July. Looking back into the end of May, we were hitting records with high temperatures by the end of the month. And while we haven't hit any high temperature records this month, this last month of June, we continue to see warmer than average temperature trends for the majority of the month. Here in this chart, we can see the daily temperature departures from normal for the Park Rapids, Minnesota area. As you can see, nearly every day had warmer than normal high temperatures for the month of June. Similar to the previous image, this graph here shows the daily temperature ranges for the Park Rapids, Minnesota area, where the red line is the normal high temperature, the blue line is the normal low temperature, and the individual bars in between show the daily temperature ranges. The highest temperature observed for this area reached up to 87 degrees on the 27th and 28th of June, while the lowest temperatures of 45 degrees was recorded on the 4th and 7th of June. Overall, this last June was found to be the sixth warmest month of June on record for the Grand Forks and Fargo areas. Here we can see the observed highest temperatures observed for the Devil's Lake, Grand Forks, Fargo, Park Rapids, and Baudette areas. And here we can see the observed average temperatures considering both high temperatures and low temperatures. And these range from near 70 for the Red River Valley and up into the mid to upper 60s for surrounding areas. In regards to rainfall, we observed quite a bit of rainfall across the area. In particular, Grand Forks and Park Rapids had the most rainfall, up to 6.18 for the Grand Forks area, which is about 2.44 inches above normal, while the Park Rapids area observed up to 6.71 inches, which is nearly 2.51 inches above normal. In the month of June, we also started to see the first big increase in thunderstorm development. During the month, we had three main severe weather events. The first main one occurred on June 8th, then on June 14th, and the last main event occurring on June 28th and 29th. In total, there were 72 severe thunderstorm warnings, 16 tornado warnings, and two flash flood warnings for the month of June. And here we can see the warnings that were issued on the 8th of June. Here the yellow boxes were severe thunderstorm warnings and the red boxes were tornado warnings. Several damage surveys were conducted which documented several short track EF0 and EF1 tornadoes. However, the wind damage reports that day received more media coverage. As you can see in the image, two semi trucks were blown over on southbound lane of Interstate 29, just north of Reynolds, North Dakota. This event backed up traffic along Interstate 29 for miles. Now for a look at what to expect for July. Here we can see the typical temperature trends throughout the beginning and end of July. Overall expect an average temperature increase by around 3 to 4 degrees by the end of the month. Throughout the month we expect to continue to lose our daylight with the sunrise moving back to a little after 6 a.m. by the end of the month while the sunset moves up to around 9 p.m. by the end of the month. In total, we will lose around one hour of daylight by the end of July. So what kind of weather do we typically see in July? For the month of, month of July, we really expect to see continued shower and thunderstorm activity alongside warmer summertime temperatures. As far as the monthly temperature outlook, the Climate Prediction Center predicts the eastern North Dakota and northwestern Minnesota area to have a 30 to 40 percent chance of seeing above average temperatures for the month of July. In regards to precipitation outlook, the Climate Prediction Center is predicting near normal precipitation amounts for the area. Last but certainly not least, here is our photo of the month winner submitted by Aaron Barnes Olson. The photo shows a bald eagle feeding on a carcass during the winter. And that concludes this weather and climate briefing for the month of June. Thanks for listening.